身の安全には気を配ってドクター Hello and welcome to Common Questions Answered In this video it's going to be a little bit more casual than usual This video is not going to be edited、um, This is how I usually talk But anyhow We're going to be answering some common questions that some people still have about this game. First question I see streamers and other YouTubers rushing their Elite 2. Should I do the same? Now, when talking about this, we do have to know that a lot of the streamers and YouTubers that are rushing their Elite 2 are eating Originite Prime for sanity. This speeds up their own progression game as eating two Originite Prime. Means one whole day of progression. So, as a free to play player or as a dolphin player, I don't believe you should rush E2. You should work towards it, but don't forget to level up your other characters. A good rule of thumb is to keep your operators within 40 levels of each other. So, that means around having all your operators around E1 level 40. Is a good, good gauge, a good gauge to go for E2, an E2 operator of your choice. So, the second question What about skill level? What's a good criterion for what skill level? So, the major things about skill level that we have to know about is that there are these breakpoints, so to speak. The breakpoints are skill level 4 and skill level 7. And also the masteries 1, 2, and 3. The basic rule of thumb for this is to have around skill level 4 when the operators are at elite 1, and have skill level 7 by the time they are elite 2. Of course, there are some operators that do rely on skill levels very heavily.、Um, more specifically, we have Shaw, Feeder, Rope. And Cliff Art. All these shift operators re、uh, rely a lot, a lot on the skill level. So do make sure to prioritize the skill levels on those operators, whereas the other operators can follow a somewhat more casual guideline, so to speak. Elite 1, skill level 4. Elite 2, skill level 7. On to the third one. Is there a specific way to roll on the gotcha? The first thing that we want to know is that、um, doing a 10 roll does not increase your chance of getting a 5 star or a 6 star at all.、Um, I know it's a first because in other games you have do a 10 roll, you get one extra roll or stuff like that. In Ark Knights, that is not the case. Instead, what we have is a guaranteed 5 star or up. Within 10 rolls. Now, what this means is that I can single roll and I can get the fifth、uh, and I can get the five star or the six star on the first or the tenth roll, or I could get it on a fifth roll. So, basically, what you want to do is you want to single roll until you get your guaranteed and then you stop on that banner. Doing those single rolls on the gotcha banners, on the regular gotcha banners that you're like, eh, allows you to get the five star, expand your pool, and also allows you to get extra orundum so that you can, or sorry, or you can save up extra orundum so that you can completely use it on that one banner. So, yeah, the specific way to roll on the gotcha one roll at a time, unless you're a whale. Fourth, What should I focus on in the base first? Now, I go into a lot of us go into a lot of more details, other YouTubers and whatnot.、Um, we all talk about 252, 243. Do take a look, check a look out on the videos and whatnot. But what should you focus on the base first? Your left sides, your production facilities. This is because the passive gain from these production facilities. Is insanely useful for leveling up your operators. It costs no sanity, and you can basically just not play the game for the base, not play the game to get materials. Just drop on in every, every so often to collect materials, and you'll be fine. Left sides first. So, where do I farm 
some type of material. So perhaps you're a leading to an operator or you're building up your base and you see like there's this certain material but you don't know where to find it. An easy way to know what it is or where we can find it is just to click on the object and then there'll be this bar that shows up and we'll be able to scroll down and see where it appears and if the um and if the stage is open we can directly go to that stage so yes an easy way to go is just to click on the material can i farm recruitment uh sorry onto the fifth one can i farm recruitment permits unfortunately we can't on an average we get two recruitment permits per day from the daily and we get 10 recruitment permits from the weekly we also get around a f we also get around 20 from the daily login rewards all in all it we get around 120 recruitment permits give or take of course there is some rng to it where you can get recruitment permits from the f credit shop but generally speaking 120 is basically guaranteed any more than that and that's rng on the same topic we have this question is there a point in saving expedited tickets so expedited tickets are used to speed up the recruitment permits right um that's their only use so yeah just completely just use them all of course i would recommend saving that one or two just in case you get that top or senior operator tag um otherwise um it doesn't there's not really a purpose to saving expedited plans, just use them nilly-willy. Let's also talk about how rare the um, top or senior operator tags are. Um, it's really, really rare. It's like less than 1%. Nobody has actually gone to calculate this, but like, just be really, really happy if you do get a top or senior operator tag within the recruitment. Something worth celebrating for. Next question. Should I buy the furniture in the shop right now? No. Um, you do want to save up your bolts and hammers for the event furniture, which usually give more ambience, or ambience, however you call it, um, for the um, sets. If my suspicions are correct, we will get an event on February the 5th. So, question mark, save up your furniture. Um, sorry, save up your bolts and hammers, don't spend on the furniture in the shop just yet. Next up we have, is there a third annihilation? Yes, but it is currently not in the English client version of the game as of yet. Um, the third annihilation will come with chapter 5, and, it, and along with chapter 5 we also get Chen. But as of right now, in the English version, that is not the case yet. So, is there a third annihilation? Yes, but not yet. When will the first event come? Um, sources say February the 5th or the 6th. I'm I'm around 70% sure that it's going to be on that day. But yes, um, it should be happening soon because Yostar did say that they're going to speed, be speeding up the events. Finally, we have this question over here. Does the shop voucher or the red certificate shop restock? I don't see a date on it. It technically doesn't. We're using the CN as a basis right now. So within the Chinese server, the red certificate shop has only restocked one time. And when they did, they made a huge announcement on it. By the time they made the announcement, it was six months into the game, so we have a long time until the red certificate shop is going to get refreshed, so to speak. I think that's all the questions I have on this for this video. If you do have any more questions, just leave a comment below. For now, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new about this, and I'll see you next time.